In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the false position method. This method enables us to find the approximate solution of the equations f of x is equals to 0. Now, let's say we are to consider x and y axis. This is x axis, this is y axis. They are meeting each other at this point. We call this as origin. Let's say the graph of the function f of x is this line. Now, the point where this graph crosses x axis is our required solution. At this point, the function value, what would be the function value? That would be equals to 0. So, we need to find this value of x. What we have to do? The algorithm of false position method says that you need to take three steps. The first step is you need to find two values of x on x axis such that their function values have the different sign. For example, I will choose x l and x r uh, such that when I multiply their function values that must be less than 0, that must be negative. Now say if this is the value xl and if this is the value xr then the corresponding function value here would be negative and the corresponding function value here would be positive. Now if I want to write the coordinates of this point I may write xl and the y coordinate would be function value at xl and the coordinate of this point can be written as x r and function value at this point. Now, if I join these two points with a straight line, that straight line will cross x axis at this point. Now, at this point, if I want to write the coordinates of this point, that would be written as x and the y coordinate at this position would be 0. Now, let us say if I mark this point on the uh, Cartesian coordinate system of two dimensions as A, this one is P and this one is C, then from the elementary geometry I may say that the slope of the line AB must be equals to the slope of the line AC. right? Now, let us say m1 is the slope of the line from A to B and m2 is the slope of the line from A to C. Then the value of m1 must be equals to the value of m2. And from the elementary geometry, we can use the slope formula. We can write down the slope of AB, which is equals to m, can be written as 0 minus f of x l divided by x minus x l which is equals to the slope of a c which is m 2 we can write down f of x r minus f of x l divided by x r minus x l if i if i rearrange this formula i may write x is equals to x l minus x r minus x l divided by f of x r minus f of x l and whole multiplied with f of x l. Now, this is the formula to calculate the value of x mentioned here this point right. So, in the second step in the second step we will write we will find the formula to find the value of x that is x is equals to x l minus x r minus x l f of x r minus f of x l multiplied by f of x l. Right? Now, once we have found this value of x, we will check whether the 
the obtained value is good approximation or not. So, what we will do? We will take the third step. We will substitute this x value into the function f of x. If this function value is equals to 0, then the obtained value f, obtained value x is our required approximate value. So, we will write down f of x is equals to 0. Now, if this is true, we will just finish our procedure. If this is not true, then we need to take these three steps again and again until we get the required approximate solution. Right? So, this is how the algorithm of false position method works. Now, let us take a look at the example. Let us say we need to find the solution of equation x square minus 3 is equals to 0. Now, if everybody knows that the solution of this equation is plus minus 1.73205 dot 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 means it is a non terminating and non uh, repeating decimal number. So, we need to find the better approximate value if, if we can get 1.73205 uh, that would be better than the value 1.73 right. So, we need to uh, find the better approximate value using the false position method. So, here in this problem the function value f of x is equals to x square minus 3. Now, the the algorithm how algorithm tells us that we need to take three steps. So, the first step for the first iteration first iteration the first step is we need to choose two values of x such that the function values at those points must have a different sign. So, let us calculate f of 1. So, that would be 1 square minus 3 that would be equals to minus 2 function value at 2 that would be 2 square minus 3. So, that would be 4 minus 3 becomes plus 1 right. Now, since the function value at 1 is ne negative function value at 2 is positive. So, I may write since f of 1 multiplied by f of 2 is less than 0 hence x l is equals to 1 and x r is equals to 2 right. Now, the second step is to calculate the value of x using false position method and the formula to calculate x is x l minus x r minus x l function value at x r minus function value at x l all multiplied with function value at x l. Now, if I calculate this I should write x l as 1 minus x r is 2 minus 1 divided by function value at x r is plus 1 minus function value at x l is minus 2 and function value at x l is minus 2. When I, when I calculate this I will notice that the value of whole this expression is equals to 1.6666 so, I may I may choose this number as um, like 1.6666 and 7. So, I am just trying to make a good approximation. So, I have uh, utilized this fifth uh, fifth decimal place. I have uh, yeah. So, the sixth may be merged into the sixth place must be merged into the fifth decimal place that will be written as 7 right. So, now we will check whether this approximation is good or not. So, we will take the third step. We will substitute this value into the function and see whether it is equals to 0 or not. So, the function value at 1.66667 is equals to 1.66667 whole square minus 3. Now, when I calculate this, the final answer is minus 0.22222. So, again I am I am using the number correct up to 5 decimal places. I have uh, rounded off the 5th decimal place to the uh, sorry 6th decimal place to the 5th decimal place. Now, this minus 0 0.22 is not mm, very much close to 0. So, we can say that the value 1.66667 is not the good approximation. So, what we have to do? We have to take the second iteration right. So, we will take the second iteration and repeat these three steps once again. Before that, we will write down that the value function value at 1 is negative and the function value at 2 is positive and the value which we just obtained 
1.66667 the function value is negative here. Now, this point is in the middle of these two values does not mean that I am calculating the midpoint like we did in the bisection method that just shows that this value 1.66667 is in between 1 and 2 along the way at some in some position right I am writing this just to make it clear that the next root the required root lies between 1.66667 and 2 and not between these two numbers because the uh, function value at this point is negative function value at this point is positive. So, the first step says that uh, the function value at 1.66667 is equals to minus 0 0.22222 and the function value at 2 is equals to plus 1 since the function value at 1.66667 multiplied by function value at 2 is less than 0. Hence, I will take x l is equals to 1.6667 and x r is equals to 2. Now, the second step we will calculate the value of x using false position method and the formula says x l minus x r minus x l divided by function value at x r minus function value at x l multiplied by the function value at x l. I will substitute this value x l is 1.6667 minus x r is 2 minus 1.6667 divided by the function value at x l which is equals to minus 0 0.2222 minus the function value at uh, sorry the function value at 2 which is equals to 1 and the minus the function value uh, so ok let us write it again. Uh, so, that will be 1 point um, that will be 1.66667 minus 2 minus 1.66667 function value at 2 which is equals to plus 1 minus function value at 1.66 which is 0 0.2222 and the function value at this point which is minus 0 0.2222. Now, if I calculate this, the final answer would be equals to 1.727275. Again, I am rounding off the sixth decimal place into the fifth decimal place. So, this is my uh, computed value. Now, in the third step, I will check whether this value is good approximation or not. So, I will calculate f of 1.727275 which is equals to 1.727275 whole square uh, whole square minus 3 and the result of this expression is equals to minus 0 0.01652. Now, this is pretty much close to 0 as compared to the previous approximation where our result was minus 0 0.22222. So, we can we can say that the obtained value 1.727275 is better approximation than 1.66667. So, we will just uh, stop this iterative, iterative proce procedure here and the final comment we may write hence x is equals to 1.727275 is the required approximate value or solution correct up to two iterations. So, this is this is this is how the false position method works.